after a long court battle and change of judges, Bosip Kaiwi has finally been sentenced to life imprisonment at the Bumana Correctional Services. Kaiwi, now 28, was charged with the murder of his wife, Janeline Kennedy, who was 19, in June 2020. Justice Teresa Berrigan, who took over from acting judge Wavun Kuvi, whose term had expired and presided over the case, said imposing a life sentence is the only sentence that recognizes the gravity of the offending. The court heard that Kaiwi and late General Kennedy were married and lived at Corbosia in Port Mosby with their two children, a three-year-old son and a one-year-old girl. Late Janeline's childhood friend, Rachel Ipang, also lived with them and helped with caring for the children. There were, however, tensions in the relationship with Kaiwi also having relationships with other women. Kaiwi also suspected his late wife, Janeline, to be having a relationship with another man. The court found that Kaiwi subjected his late wife to much torture, suspecting her of having a relationship with another man. He used various forms of weapons to inflict pain on his late wife until she succumbed to death, though a nurse friend was invited for a day and put a drip on late journaling. Kaiwi owned a boat building business and when he touches late journaling in their room, the boys engaged in building the boat would increase the volume of music and cover the shout from pain late General Kennedy was enduring. There was history of violence by Kaiwi against his late wife, Janeline. Justice Berrigan said, this was a crime of extreme violence and appalling cruelty. There are a number of features that make it especially grave. The nature, extent and severity of the injuries inflicted on the victim establish a very strong intention on the part of the offender to cause grievous bodily harm. What sets this case apart from other cases, however, is the repeated inflicted of particularly vicious injuries, including through use of objects like belts and chains and other improvised weapons clearly calculated to cause immense pain and suffering in what can only be properly be described as torture. Justice Berrigan said the injury Kaiwi inflicted were chilling. Justice Berrigan, when considering the prevalence of violence against women in the country, said domestic violence and killing of women by the current or former husbands or partners has long been recognized as prevalent. The National and Supreme Courts have repeatedly denounced these offenses. Justice Berrigan also said, women are an integral part of the society. They have the same rights and privileges as men under the Constitution. They are entitled to be treated with respect and dignity. They are entitled to fully participate in and benefit from the development of this country. Justice Berrigan said, this will only be possible when women live free from the fear of violence or death at the hands of their current or former husbands or partners.